So, had the complaint that this Honda GX 630 was, it just started blowing blue smoke and died. And they said that the motor's blown up, the pistons are coming out, the whole nine yards. So, before I go and just replace this $17, $18, $2,000 dollars motor here, I wanted to run some tests to see, is this motor bad? Um, I'm going to run a compression test, and I'm going to run and clean all the oil out here. I did, the very first thing I did is, is I took this front cover off here, and I took my valve covers off right here. And what I want to do is, as I'm rotating this, I want to make sure that all my rockers and all my valves are working properly. I also took the, the, um, the spark plugs out, and then I want to make sure there's no hole into the spark plug or into the piston, make sure the piston's going up and down. And here, everything is working just fine. So the next thing I'm going to do is, is I'm going to run a compression test on this motor. Um, if this motor gives me, what can happen is, is if you fill this motor up too full, it will start blowing oil out of here and get our oil, um, our air filter full of oil and all the top up here. And that's exactly what happened. I'm almost positive that they just overfilled this motor. But I'm gonna do a compression test and there's not really any set pressure of saying what it needs to be. The biggest thing is, is it can't be 10% different from cylinder one to cylinder two. And I will run this test, and I will show you how to do this test. But before I do that, I'm Jason Guyman. I'm with PressureWatchHelp.com. I'm here to help you grow your business, be successful, and to change your life. The next thing you want to do is these come with several different adapters here. So we want to make sure we got the right threads. And what I always do is, is I take it here, and I line them up to thread to thread, and they should match perfectly down in there. If it's off a little bit, then that means that's not the right thread and that will screw up that hole and we don't want to do that. So this is the whole compression tester right here and we're just going to screw that down into the hole here. Screw it down in there until it bottoms out. And then we're going to put the gauge on there. Next thing we're going to do is, is we want the throttle to be all the way on, full throttle. We don't want to choke on. We want it full throttle, and we're going to turn it over, I believe it's like four cycles. So, and we're going to see what it's going to do here. All right, so we're at 120 PSI. That's good compression right there. So we're going to let that back off and screw it in the other side. And when you're doing this, you want to make sure both, um, both sides are out. No plugs are in. And we're going to screw it in here. We're going to do the same thing. Now, there isn't really no set how much pressure there is supposed to be, but it is, one thing is, is you can't be 10% more on one side versus the other. If we're 10% 10, 10 more on one side versus the other, then we have an issue. So we're going to do the same thing. <laughs> And we're right at 120. That's right where we need to be at. That's perfect compression. Both of them are the same. So when they tell me that this pump is bad, that is incorrect. There is no, there's just a little bit of oil in here. So I got to fill this thing back up with oil. I'm going to clean it all out real good. Make sure, this really comes down to make sure when we put oil in this, we do not overflow this thing. Because, you know, they said the pump's bad. The mechanic here is like, the pump's bad, it's got a rod to it, the whole nine yards, and it's not. There is nothing, there's, I about guarantee I put new plugs in this, put a new air filter on it, clean all the oil, get new oil in it, it'll run just fine. And that's what I wanted to show you, this compression test of why it was. Now, if this compression test only went up to 90 PSI on one side versus the other, then we would have problem. That is where our problem would come at of the, the 90 versus 120. And most of these, what I've been noticing is, is 120 is about where, you know, anywhere from 100, 
to 120. As long as them, they're both the same, we'll be all right. But this is at 120. Um, the other ones I looked at are all about 120. So as long as we're at 120 on compression on both sides, we are good to go. Um, I'll put all my plugs back in, put everything back on here, um, and go with it. I, I wouldn't have had to take all this off. I just wanted to make sure that my valves are working, nothing was broken. When I get told that it's bad, that is what I wanted to make sure. And the other problem I had is, is the battery was less than um, 11 and a half volts, so it wasn't even turning over. I didn't know if it was the battery bad or if that. I put a good battery charger on it, and now you can hear it crank right over. So I need to fix this battery issue. We got all kind of issues going on here. Battery issue, and I, what I about guarantee is, is they said they've been having to add oil to this machine. And they just went glub, 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 and put too much oil into this machine, which caused it to blow black, blue smoke, shut down, and not run. Once them plugs get fouled out, it won't start no matter what you do. Um, so we're going to put new plugs in it. I'll put the link down below for the new plugs, new oil filter, and the oil. And we're going to give it a complete thing, even the air filter. Hope this has helped you out. On this motor, this works too for the GX690 also and the 630, um, but this is just some things that can go wrong. Just one little bit of overflowing it, overfilling that oil can make this thing not run. Um, if you don't have enough oil, you'll see that the little red light right there when I was turn cranking it is on. <laughs> means that it don't have enough oil, and I know it don't have enough oil because I wanted to make sure I didn't put new oil in it and then here it wasn't going to work. So, if you'd like to learn more about pressure washing in a pressure washing build, go check out my video up here, this whole playlist, and I go over everything there is about it in there. See you in my next video.